I actually came across the TikTok of a guy yesterday who said that doing fur porn or drawing fur porn, fur porn, furry porn, <laughs> is not ideal, but if it pays the bills. <laughs> I suddenly had an image of some, some manga-esque foxy maid, you know, in the throes of it, <laughs> with another manga-esque kind of character. I'm thinking, oh no, really? Is that what people are doing now to pay the bills? <laughs> it's just too crazy. Of course, if I could draw a manga-esque porn and make a good living out of it, maybe I would do it. But at this point in time, I don't draw cartoons that are pornographic for various reasons. And I'm glad I don't have the ability to because I think it's um, it's question questionable art. Uh, it, um, influences people to think it's okay when it isn't really <laughs> and that's a, a moral judgment that I shouldn't be passing but if you judge people when they do certain things and you wonder why you have to go back to source you have to go back to what they do in their free time, and in their free time, if they're scouring images of little furry eared girls in some sort of violent sexual assault, I mean. It's, it doesn't take a genius to piece the two together. <laughs>